Hey guys, welcome to the Tar Series 7, and reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series X-Men 20th Anniversary Amazon Exclusive Wolverine. So really cool, really blessed to pick this up today. Or should I say it came in the mail today? And um, man, I was just really excited for this one. Um, I was kind of surprised too because I thought these had sold out completely on Amazon, and I guess I just wasn't paying attention because they still have a lot of them in stock, so I was really happy about that. And we got a nice clear view of Wolverine and packaging. Um, it's not really said which like X Men movie it's based on, and you know, Wolverine kind of had this definitive look in most of the movies, but considering he's got the bone claws and the dog tags, I would presume this is based more on X Men Origins Wolverine. And I gotta say, I love the packaging. It's like this blue till. It looks really nice. It's got this yellow lining that goes through it. And you have the Wolverine logo. On this side, you have this awesome silhouette of Wolverine. I really love this. And then you got an X up here. And then you have the same silhouette on this side. And then you have it in a much bigger picture. And it just looks so cool. I love how the blades are highlighted and even the dog tags. And yeah, let's just open this up. And I'm going to show these off on the figure, but I want to show them off out of packaging. The way they package the claws, they're packaged with like individual kind of like lines in between them. So when the claws come out of the packaging, they look amazing. They're also a lot thicker than the comic book claws. So, you know, it's not going to have that problem of the claws being bent outwards. I know the claws are some of the annoyingest things on some of the Wolverine figures. And it's kind of disappointing too, because that's like Wolverine's main thing. So I'm really glad that they were able to make these uh, claws look really, really nice. And yeah, let's moving on real quickly and here we have Wolverine out of packaging and I still can't get over the fact that we finally have a Hugh Jackman Wolverine in Marvel Legends form I just think this is so cool I mean obviously like when you think of the most iconic Marvel actors you think of Robert Downey Jr but you know Hugh Jackman for a lot of people myself including is the first one you kind of think of because he just played Wolverine for so long and he really made the character stand out and also resemble his comic book appearance just in terms of the hair and everything and yeah he just looks great here and I think the face likeness to Jackman I think it's definitely there I think it looks good and I gotta say I think this looks better than the jacketed release coming out um you got some nice detailings there uh but just everything even kind of like the glance it definitely looks a lot like Hugh Jackman the hair is also really nice too it's got the different shades in it, so it's kind of like lighter and dirtier as it goes down to the bottoms. And it's also got those little kind of side hair. And I, I always liked how they gave Wolverine his comic book hair. I always thought that was such a weird thing to do for the movies. And I, I'm glad that they actually attempted to do that because that was pretty cool. It's not something they had to do to make Wolverine work. But it's something I always really appreciate. And just the likeness looks really good. You also have the dog tags, which are a little out of scale compared to how they should be. Um, but regardless, they're really cool. They're also removable, too. I'm probably going to leave them on for the video, but I think it's really neat. The tank top itself is probably one of the coolest things because, you know, Wolverine wore these, I think, in almost every movie that he appeared in. So it really helps you kind of have a Wolverine for most of the movies. And it's got some nice line work, so it actually looks like a real tank top kind of design. So that's pretty neat. And then one thing that's really cool about this is that he has the pinless joints. This is a new technology that Hasbro is trying to do on the action figures. So where there would be pins here, he no longer has them. And I got to say, it, it looks really nice and the hands also move. Like, I was kind of worried about that new technology they were talking about putting in these but I gotta say the pinless joints look really good on the arms and I can't wait to see them do that with more of the characters now the claws he has on him here are his bone claws that he has towards um, the beginning of X-Men Origins Wolverine and he also gets them back at through the Wolverine and, and a couple other movies um, but they got some nice detailings on them uh, as you'll notice like one's longer than the other on some of these because that's I think how it was in the movie and they also have some nice little detailings so they look like actual bone claws from the movie and they look really nice and I like that they included this you know um, it's not something we necessarily needed I think a lot of people would have been really happy with the Adamanium ones like just the Adamanium ones but I think it's so cool that we get both in this set and I love the belt buckle that they put on here I just think it's got some really nice detailings there I think that's pretty cool and I think it's a new sculpt too but I'm not 100% sure and the jeans might be my favorite part because they're blue but they're not just solid blue they have this like light blue wash in them so they look like real jeans that you actually see and I mean that makes sense because it's more of a movie figure so that's really cool and then also the boots as well are pretty neat and then Here's Wolverine with one Animanium Claw and one Bone Claw. I just thought this would look pretty cool. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they made a Wolverine DVD a couple years ago that included both the Wolverine and X-Men Origins Wolverine. And I think on the packaging, it actually kind of had him like this kind of mixed between the two movies. So I, I thought that would look pretty neat. 
And then here we have Wolverine with both of the Animanium Claws. And like I said, I like that you get both sets of claws in this two-pack. It's not something they really had to do to kind of like sell this one. Uh, but I definitely appreciate it and I really like it. And I just love how big the claws are too because they're really nice. And you know, I think something that's really annoying with Wolverine figures is when the claws don't come out right. Just because, you know, that's kind of Wolverine's main thing. So I really love that they kind of fix these. I kind of love that, you know, there's really just no problems with these. Uh, and that they finally made them like they should have. And I'm sure they made some good comic book claws. It's just lately they've kind of been really thin and they just kind of bend out of packaging. But these actually look how they're supposed to. And I just think that's really cool. And in terms of articulation, he's got a 360 at the head. He can look up and down. Uh, he's I think he's on like um, one of those kind of like dumbbell joints type things. So it doesn't really come down at all. It just kind of like looks down like that. But that's not too bad. You got a 360 of the arms and swing out the shoulder. He's on butterfly joints. So that's pretty cool. You have a 360 there. Like I said, the double joint elbows without the visible pens and I think they work really well I think they almost work better than the double jointed ones with the visible pens they just move very freely but not too freely so that's cool you got free six day wrist and they're on hinges free six of the torso and an ab crunch the legs kick forwards, backwards, and outwards. You got a 360 to the thigh, double jointed knees. They're a little stiff, but they do work. And the feet also moves and rotates a little bit. So in terms of articulation, pretty good. Pretty much what you'd expect, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And you do get an alternate head for Wolverine here, which we'll show off. And I like this one, but I don't like it as much as the head that comes on. Like, I feel that the likeness to Hugh Jackman is here, but I feel this is the better likeness to Jackman on this figure here. But I still think this is a pretty cool head, and I like that you get the extra head there, because again, you know, it's not something they really had to do, but something that's kind of neat. Here's a comparison really quickly with the comic book Wolverine. And right out of the packaging, you might notice that, uh, or not out of the packaging, um, but right over here, kind of together, you might notice that the movie Wolverine is a lot taller than the comic Wolverine. And the reason for that is because in the comic books, Wolverine's fairly short, but in the movies, Hugh Jackman is actually pretty tall. I think he's like six foot something. Um, and, uh, in some of the movie posters, I think for X-Men Origins Wolverine, they actually kind of made some of the actors, they kind of like, uh, photoshopped their height to be a little bit taller, so it would look like Wolverine was shorter, uh, to be like the comic books, which I think is just a little silly, but, you know, that was something they decided to do, and, yeah. Here's a comparison with Cable, who is also from this series of 20th anniversary figures. And uh, as you can see, they look, they, they're in a pretty good hype range of each other. They've also got very similar details, even though these characters I don't think ever really ran into each other at all. Um, they still kind of look neat together. And then here's a comparison with Thor and Iron Man, also from the MCU, or not also from the MCU, but from the MCU. Uh, we still don't really know how they're going to work the X-Men into this universe now, um, but this is how he compares to other movie figures, and I gotta say, he looks pretty, you know, pretty well. I think he definitely fits in between Thor and Wolverine, I think, or, ah, Thor and Iron Man. I definitely think, you know, there's a lot of realistic parts being there, because they're both live action, and I just think it works well. Overall, I think this is a really great action figure. I think if you're debating um, which Wolverine to pick up, uh, I definitely go with this one because this is Wolverine's most iconic appearance in the movies. You get both sets of claws, you get two heads, and you get the really nice Animanium claws. And I just think they did a really good job with this. Thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.